At this interactive session between lawyers and key policy makers who decide the state of Nigeria's security architecture, the focus is on crafting a strategic blueprint for security and prosperity. Nigeria's military service chiefs are represented here, but that didn't dampen the resolve of conference participants from different parts of the country to state their peculiar security concerns. Who tells the people in the forest that the soldiers are coming? Isn't it among the police officers, the soldiers that really planned the, the out? Those who surrendered are being not only pardoned, but regrouped and recruited into our armed forces. I don't know how far this is true. Is it then proper to say that the security armed forces have failed this country? We have women that cannot go to their farms again. Oil, bone cream, and the rest. The government is very, very active. But we don't see them, we don't see corresponding activeness on the issue of illegal mining that is happening in Zamfara and other places, depriving Nigeria of the needed revenue for development. Representatives of Nigerian security agencies say they are leaving nothing to chance as they remain committed to addressing the security concerns of citizens. They also debunked claims of recruiting repentant Boko Haram terrorists. So no Boko Haram insurgents or repentant is being recruited into uh, the army. Thank you. The armed forces has not failed Nigeria. The armed forces has been working against every form of li lim uh, limitation to ensure that Nigeria remains a corporate entity and that we deal with the challenges, security challenges we're having, and that will resolve to do. We have not failed Nigeria, and we will not fail Nigeria. Earlier, the Emir of Gumi in Zamfara State said, centralization of the command structure of the military and other security agencies was partly responsible for the escalation of violence in Zamfara and other Northwest states was hit by banditry. And Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Defense, Ibrahim Kana, made a case for increased investment in agriculture as a way to address the security challenges caused in ungoverned spaces like forests that now serve as bases for terrorists and other criminal groups. Due to the centralized command structure of the military and other law enforcement agencies, the state governors could only be running to Abuja to plead for the necessary military equipment and personnel to be deployed to their states to engage these outlaws. Many people have advocated that the many of the ungoverned spaces in Nigeria who should set up barracks. Is that the solution? The answer is no. Perhaps it may give a short-term solution, but the longer solution is for Nigeria to invest in agriculture in all those green and ungoverned spaces. The Defense Ministry also stated that the option of diplomacy is still on the table in addressing the issues around the coup in Niger Republic. Godfrey Eshamogay, Arise News.